Tonga the lemur Hi. arrives at Dr. K's with a bit of an attitude <laughs> problem. <laughs> She's not used to this cage like this. Dr. Thielen, um, Tonga is a one-year-old, super aggressive female lemur. She pitch you? She scratched me. She's shoving her hands out of the cage and oh, like. Wow. My name is Nina, and today I brought in a female lemur to be spayed. Her name is Tonga. Who's the big girl? Yeah, yeah. I've had her since she was six weeks old. She is energetic and fun and loving and playful, and she's just uh, a lot of fun. Hey, Hi, how are you? Dr. Thielen, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you, too. Oh, I'm so excited to see her. She's so <laughs> precious. Yeah. Hi, Tonga. How are you today? So you've had her since she was a baby? Uh, yeah, she was six weeks old. I would assume that it would be a pretty traumatic event taking a primate away from its mother. How is she as a pet? She's phenomenal. Hi. She's got. She's, 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 don't let her scratch you because Hi. she's got. She's got issues right now. Yes, and she's ne I've never had her in this small cage. I usually she's on my shoulder she's probably or down my shirt. Yeah, lemurs are extremely intelligent, highly inquisitive animals that have very large social networks. To have the capacity to, to fit this animal's needs, have a space large enough, and mimic their diet even somewhat similar to what they need, is extraordinarily difficult. When she gets scared, she runs right down my shirt. Oh my gosh. <laughs> She's used to being around a lot of people, and now she just gets real moody, and she'll like grab at them, and you know, she may bite or she may nip, or and, that, and that's just not like her. Yeah. Don't let her scratch it. That's it. A little, little bit grabby there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I love you. Sorry. She gets along great with the animals. I mean, she. Uh, we have a hunting dog, and that dog, she chases everything. And I thought they wouldn't get along, and they're like the best of friends. Of course, the Chihuahuas are a little freaked out by her, but she loves them. They're just like, ah. ah. I love her so much. She's incredible. So Tonga, although beautiful, is a little rambunctious. Um, and that can get out of hand really quickly, especially with a very dominant animal such as a primate. So we need to give the owner some tips on how to kind of curb that enthusiasm, if you will, with Tonga's behavior. This is something that you might have not been doing because she's so young, as foraging. So having her hunt for her food. Green beans are easy to hide because they're not too messy and then any kind of... To um, so make her look for them? Mm -hmm. Well, she looks through her fruit. bedding and she throws them all over the place and then yeah, she goes looking yeah. for them, so I guess. Yeah, so you can she put She does it... forage a little bit. Absolutely. So put them in a cardboard box, make her have to open the box. Even like a Tupperware container with like a twist lid will be good for her to have to oh, like okay. figure out how to twist open and get yeah. it out. It keeps her mind so preoccupied that a lot of the times we can prevent a lot of behavior problems such as aggression and frustration and things like that mm -hmm. because she's okay. busy Something all day. give her something to do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She is absolutely adorable.